Love to do a want to do or something that's better. Oh, get smoke, get smoke, get smoke. Something. What I've realized here lately. Oh, wait. Molotov. Hold on. Oh, I got some burns. Oh, die. Die. Okay. One PDW kill and like two Molotov kills. I think. Yo, what's good with you, two epic fam? It's your boy Kinetic to Epic coming to you once again to Call of Duty Mobile Gameplay. Yo, if you could please smash that like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to stay updated when I drop more content. And yo, drop your boy a comment. I would like to welcome you all to my 41st episode of my Gold Edition series, the Gold PDW. I'd like to send a special shout out to my new subscriber, Carl Apox. Appreciate the love and support. Yo, I'm gonna share his link to his Facebook gaming page and his descriptions. Road to 100, baby. Let's get it. So for the muzzle monolithic suppressor for the barrel MIP extended light barrel for the start white cam light stock the laser MIP uh, laser five meter watts and a rear grip rubberized grip tape. So that's how I got my PDW set up right now. I know the numbers. I mean, yeah, all green, but I don't know how this is going to play out. I haven't played the PDW in forever. Oh, that was got it. They already got us in a match. Are we winning? Yep. Yeah, well, somewhat. Whoa, hello, buddy. Hello. Oh, okay. Let's get it. Let's get it, little PDW. Oh, I think I'm like still in dude's kills. I'm sorry, teammate. I'm just trying to help. I'm not trying to be a bully. Oh, behind you. Dang it. They dropped both of us, bro. Sorry. I tried. I tried. Y'all saw me. Y'all saw me try, right? Y'all saw that? Yo, I want to. Hold on. Let me. Yeah, I'm working on the other diamond launcher. Why not? You know, take out 100 UAVs with it. I only get one rocket. That kind of sucks. So it's not the FHJ-18. It's the uh, SMRS rocket launcher. Oh, come here. Hold on. I have something I want to talk to you guys about, but uh, it's kind of intense right now. Okay. All right. I think we're clear. Anyway, yo, uh, I, I, I've, I've come to realize something, yo. Just hear me out. You know, I'm not going to try to preach to y'all or none of that sort. You know what I'm saying? But this is a little bit of inspiration and motivation for people who, um, who might be dealing with certain things or having to deal with certain certain type of mindsets of other people first their own mindset and their mindsets of others but what i've realized here lately and it's just me and what how did he not die man i'm so mad <laughs> oh my gosh but anyway what i've realized is there will always be some type of adversity some type of opposition to oppose you Right. Whenever you're trying to do something that you love to do or want to do or something that's better. Oh, get smoke, get smoke, get smoke. Something that's better. Then there will always be people first with yourself. But if you yourself in, in a good uh, mind space to where you're not going to allow certain things or certain people to hinder you and you're pushing forward, you will come across others who will have negative things to say about what it is you love to do, especially if what you're doing isn't harming anyone else is you know, something positive um what i've realized here lately oh wait molotov hold on oh i got some burns oh die die okay one pdw kill and like two molotov kills i take but anyway what i'm saying is there will be people like for instance for example at work here lately i've been you know at work working whatever and for some strange odd reason, it's people who, you know, while I'm at work, I'm thinking to myself, yo, you know, I'm here to make my money, you know, um, help the company out while I'm there, you know, do what the company asked me to do, follow the guidelines, the policy, the safetyness, the quality, you know, all of the all of that good stuff that a company wants to see within a good worker. Good work work ethics who share some of their work values, right? We have to keep that in mind. So while working, I've been realizing that people have been complaining like crazy, yo like crazy they've been complaining about everything all day and what i've been doing is i would literally remove myself from around those people because i'm having a good day and i don't care how hard the work may be for that moment or how hard i gotta work whatever the case is i've made my mind up that i'm going to have a good day and that's something i want you all to know and to realize that it is up to you to have a good day it is up to you to have a good moment like yeah, we have our moments where we're not having a good day. We're not feeling so good. We're not feeling so well. We're just we're just not in that good space, right? But ultimately, it's solely up to you. 
So when I run across people like that at work, they start complaining and complaining and complaining. My whole mindset is like, first of all, you know, you volunteered to work here. You weren't forced into work here. You weren't forced into labor. You know, so you, you, you volunteered to work here. You signed up for it. Go ahead and do the work. Get it done. But my mind is like, you know, I'm thinking like, yo, I'm not working for them. I'm working for my employer, but I'm not working for my employer. And what I mean by that is, yes, I'm working for them because they hired me to work for them. And they paid me to work for them. I do the hours and all that. But I'm not working for them in a sense of my mindset is while I'm making the money I'm making, I'm putting it towards something of myself. So when I go in and put in 10 hours a day, six days a week for my employer, I make sure that every day that I get home or when I get back to my location that i put time in for myself i put in some hours and work for myself i get off at 2 30 in the morning a lot of times and i stay up working for myself when i get off work i stay up working for myself till six seven eight nine in the morning and i got to be back up at like three to be at work by four again you know in the afternoon so i make sure i put that time in though and that's something i want people to realize that time like like my homeboy j fax aka jamel told me time is money and my home would be easy. Brandon, he told me the same thing. Time is money. Like, that's something you don't get back, though. So when you invest in yourself, that time you put into yourself, you invest in yourself. You got to keep a good mind frame, a positive mind frame to know, yo, while I'm at work or whoever I'm around, if the people you're around ain't doing nothing but trying to feed you negativity, like Jamel told me the other day, people will bring you down to their level. If they see that you're operating on a high energy level, a high frequency, and you're not letting anything bother you, you're not letting anything get in your way from your goal, from your, from your goal and from what you want to do, some people would do one or two things. They would either, A, they would get on the level you're on, right? They get on that high energy level, that positivity level that you're on, or B, they're going to bring negativity to you and try to drag you down to their level. And what I want y'all to know is don't allow others to drag you down to their level. You know what I mean? Remove yourself from people like that. You know, ignore people like that. Refuse to even accept or tolerate that type of negativity unnecessary negativity okay unnecessary stuff people who just want to complain for the sake of complaining or people who want to try to bash you or talk negative of what it is you're trying to do to grind your own and people want to try to take that from you take that light like jamel said the other day we want to take that fire you got and they want to smother it don't allow people to do that you know first of all don't do it to yourself and when you made your mind up that you're not going to do it to yourself you don't allow anybody else to do it either. Don't allow someone else to dim your light, okay? Don't allow them to dim your light. And the same thing, vice versa. Don't go out here trying to dim other people's light. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you 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 give, you get what you give out. You reap what you sow. So, when you, when you, you decide to remain positive regardless of the circumstances, when you decide to put that work in behind that positive mindset, Yo, things will flourish for you. Things will work out in your favor. Like, it just will. That's just how life goes. Does it mean it works every time? No, it might take a while. But if you have your mind made up that you're going to do it, you're going to get up off your butt, you're going to put the time in, you're going to put the grind in, you're going to put the dedication in, you're going to put the resources in to build your dream, to build your goal, to reach your goal, then there's nothing nobody can tell you. Nothing. Nothing they can tell you to hinder you if you don't allow it. That's the thing about it. If you don't allow it. So I'm at work. When I'm at work and people come with that negativity or I can just feel it in the atmosphere and then, you know, you start looking at people's facial expressions and their snarky comments or, the, you know, just the attitude that people have because they might be having a bad day at home or whatever the case is. You never know what's going on in someone else's life. I try to be that positive spark to them because, like I say, you never know what they're going through. So if they're having a bad day, I'll like, hey, yo, you know, what's up? What's up today? You know, I crack a joke with them, whatever, a light joke with them, you know, get them to kind of smile or loosen up and lighten up a little bit. But if that doesn't work and they're dead set on having a bad day, hey, I'll see you later. <laughs> i see you later. I don't, you know, I don't say nothing to them about it. I'm like, you know, I just, I just ease out of the picture. Because I've made up my mind that I'm not going to have a bad day just because you're having a bad day. I'm not going to allow your negative thoughts or your negative words to influence my positive thoughts and my positive words and make me a negative person. Now, we're both having a bad day. And negativity spreads like the virus, okay? It spreads like a wildfire. It can spread if you allow it. But it's positivity is the vaccine for the negative virus. Huh. Check that. Positivity is the vaccine for negative virus. Yo, somebody quote me on that. <laughs> 
But yo, that's what I got for y'all today. If you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the commentary, yo, I really hope it, it brings something to you and it sparks some interest in you. But hit that like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell, stay up there if I'm dropping more content. And yo, drop your boy a comment. This is the 41st episode of Gold Edition series. We're on the road to 100, baby. And you already know what it is. Be kinetic. Peace. I'm